the preparation for a piece of my glass is always starting off with cutting strips from larger sheets of material, which I then sort out in different colors, lay out a color combination, and fuse this color combination into a solid piece of glass. As you see it here, it is the distribution of different colors uh, in an arrangement uh, that I can then put into a kiln for fusing. The time that a piece is in this kiln can vary. And start. Slowly. Oh, yes. Yes, it's look, it looks perfect from here. When a, a mirror-like surface is achieved, then it's exactly what we, what we want to get. The piece must be cleaned and we have a core of solid glass for the continuation. Now we are ready for a layout. You see the rough drawing so. produced on the fiber flex, which is a material that is laying between glass and the kiln shelf so that the glass is not sticking to the kiln shelf. I do a, a drawing that is uh, describing the way I want to go with the piece. It is not the exact piece as it will be laid out in the end, but this is the an idea sketch as I lay it down. This solid piece of glass that we took out of the kiln is now cut in two sections, laying on two sides of the sketches. With this piece I'm going over to the diamond saw and cut these two elements into pieces to create a rhythm in color and line a new rhythm in color and line. We had already one there, but with the cutting, I'm creating a dynamic in the movement. So. so this is only the dynamic of the surrounding pieces. Here you see it uh, coming out of the straight line is now born a, a movement, is born a uh, dramatic following. The middle section is laid out on the fiber flex and uh, on the drawing of the fiber flex. Both the fiber flex and the drawings will disappear in the firing. What is staying in the end is the glass and this is structure of the glass that we have laid out on top of the drawing.
So these are all the pieces that have to be adjusted. These pieces now have to go back to the diamond saw, will be uh, cut to fit and uh, then the side parts will be joined in. The diamond saw is one of these uh, necessary instruments and uh, my diamond saw I bought I think in 1972 and then it was already uh, used by uh, one of the Swedish glass companies I think for about 10 or 20 years. It is a beautiful crafted machine which is helping me a lot of achieving the precision I'm, I'm working with. The more precise your layout is, the more precise it will reflect in the fused piece in the end. So equipment uh, as technic both together are elements in the working of glass which are of importance. Uh, that will then add into the surrounding area. After completing the uh, central uh, element, I'm now putting together the elements on the both sides of the central element. What I'm trying to achieve here is uh, to, to break a static line into new elements. It is like a collapsing building. When you see these collapsing buildings that sometimes turn up on television, you have these clear architectural lines, squares, right angles, and suddenly there's a movement in, in this building through the implosion that is distorting the architectural lines, the geometrical elements into chaos. So what happens here is building up from uh, the static line, a construction that is transforming these static lines into, into movement, yes. And uh, that's, that's why I use this silver pen and it's very, very good to see. Now it is uh, uh, cut into the uh, clear circle. Uh, again, this happens on the diamond saw. Yes. 
I place this piece over a mold that I have built from uh, plaster and flint. And uh, this mold, together with the glass, will be heated up and uh, the glass will sink into this form. And the piece will be fired up again. Uh, naturally, the uh, bending and uh, forming temperature is not as high as the temperature that I'm using for fusing. The temperature is about 200 degrees lower than uh, the fusing temperature. But the firing itself takes a longer time because uh, with the first firing and uh, the small pieces that I fused together was finished in about three hours. Here, the heating process is taking on uh, 12 hours to reach the top temperature. Running. Then it is cooling down and normally after two days I take uh, the piece out of the kiln. Aha. It's looking very good at this point. Yeah. Is that good? The sound check is telling me if the piece has co cooled down properly and uh, that there are no cracks in the glass. And from there I take the piece over again into the grinding shed. First I uh, cover the piece with a fine layer of paint. I'm using a rust paint. It is showing me exactly where I am with my grinding wheel when I grind over the piece. And uh, with the grinding, I uh, go back to the core of the glass. Let's say it that way. The surface of the glass, the upper layer of the glass, has been in the, in the firing process and therefore has become a little bit unclear. So with, with grinding away the smudge and grinding away the outer layer of the first surface, I gain crisp colors and crisp lines again. The point why I'm doing the concave form is just to create space with the piece. So this is the largest piece that I do, that I'm forming. Beyond those pieces, I'm going onto the wall and uh, stay absolutely flat. I think it's very important uh, in, in the arts to know about the technique you're using and to, to uh, work with the, uh, with the technical possibilities that, you, uh, that the, your medium is offering you. And uh, with, with each step you, you take on and uh, with each step you complete, you um, extend your vocabulary. And uh, this is the most important thing that you... And you are not working just with a few tricks in your in your head, but that you uh, that that you curate a a field from which you are uh, which you are working. And uh, this is technique. Um, I I used to compare this with uh, with the way how I uh, learned swimming. There was this one point uh, where you suddenly have the feeling you sw sw you swim on the water and uh, where you have no resistance anymore. And uh, this is something I'm looking for in, in, in my work and in my experience with, my, with, my, uh, with the craft side of my work, uh, to swim above the water. And uh, this is making 
uh, making the, the, the masterly touch, I would say. Is your palette of technique, if, if I can put it that way, is that complete or is it evolving? Are you still developing? Uh, it is in evolving. It is an ongoing process. And um, someone asked me uh, um, just recently, which is, which is um, which are my masterworks. And uh, I only can, can must say uh, these, these works still have to come. Because uh, uh, you are, they only come if you are on the, on the, at the real uh, pinnacle of uh, what, what you're doing. Where I am now, uh, it's pretty amazing for me where I have, have, have where it has come to. But uh, it doesn't mean that uh, I'm uh, 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 on the top of the possibilities that are there. In this particular piece we're looking at, and during the the the, the, the creation of this series of pieces, was there a particular aspect of technique that you were looking at or that came out of this particular series? No, not, uh, not uh, there, were, there is n n never an aspect of technique uh, that I, I follow. I, I, I follow an idea and out of the idea is, is, uh, is developing the technique and, uh, as, and is extending the technique. So this is a wonderful thing. You... you uh, uh, you 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 create and and on on the way you uh, you hit the problems, and the the problems are the bridges into the into a new experience. How did it come about? This idea of getting strips of color and fusing it. <laughs> well, uh, how did it came about? Um, in 1982. Uh, up to 1982, I must say, I worked with uh, canes of glass, which I found in a, in a factory in, in Germany. And uh, I, I used these canes as elements uh, for the creation of my work. In 1982, the first sheet glass was developed by the Bullseye Glass Company, the, who was so excited about what I did with the canes that they said, we want to produce compatible glass that you can use in your processes. And uh, I never thought it would happen. But uh, at a certain point, the glass was on my doorsteps and I could experiment with it. And not uh, like others tried to uh, fuse these sheets together, uh, I used, uh, I wanted to uh, uh, use this glass in a way that uh, with, a, with the word perfection in mind. And uh, this did me, meant at the time I wanted to get the air out of the pieces when I fused them together. And I could only get the air out of the pieces when I put uh, these uh, sheets that I received in strips and stay, uh, put them upright so that the air could disappear in the, in the firing process. And suddenly I had a, had a mirror-like clean surface uh, out of the process. And uh, I, yes, I pursued this uh, uh, technique and uh, it has become uh, a common way of, of, of fusing. And, uh, but uh, I, over the years, uh, I developed other techniques as well, which then added to the experience of the first moment. I developed a, uh, 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 a graphic distinction, let's say it that way, which has been, has been used since then uh, vitally in, 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 uh, different, uh, in different medias. And, uh, uh, but uh, it, is, it is my hallmark, so, so to say. I also broke this this rule, and uh, oh, with the, with the, with the years I learned uh, to handle the the straight line in a way uh, that it became a brush line. This is the uh, uh, development of, of of one element into uh, new expressions that I, that I followed over the years, uh, even so from uh, plain fusing into the combination. Uh, with glass blowing uh, that we did, and uh, which has become the so-called Aussie roll-up. Uh, so uh, these these are developments that that are that that are uh, have their ground uh, in understanding the basics uh, to perfection, I would say. And uh, if you don't understand the basics in any uh, make. Uh, 
to perfection. You can't go uh, to to a next step and uh, conclude the next step to perfection. Working with the material is possibly uh, uh, very simple. Uh, there are very basic uh, technical skills necessary to take on this material and to uh, explore and to find results. It's, a, it's easy. The difficult part is, yes, is the control of the process. And only with the, uh, with a, uh, immense experience you can control this material that in itself has a very high resistance to, to any intrusion, be it by forming, be it by grinding, be it by sandblasting or else. Uh, it is the, the, the control that, uh, of the processes that makes it, uh, turns it into masterly work or into uh, something else. There was this uh, uh, beautiful blind girl which came with her mother and uh, she was uh, touching my glass. And uh, normally uh, glass people don't like when their works are touched. But I also uh, encouraged people to touch my glass because it has also, there's a, there's a haptic in the glass. And uh, uh, I only catched the girl talking with her mother. And uh, she, she was talking about feeling, the, feeling the color. And uh, this is a phrase uh, that I, uh, that I possibly can understand because uh, a color is uh, something that is uh, one, uh, one with me. Even, and even if I can, can't substantiate that I have a field color in my hand, uh, it is uh, something that I explore with all of my senses. If I'm good, I transform uh, what I what is touching me from outside uh, as emotion, as uh, as story, as uh, as a um, uh, uh, as a viewing of uh, of landscape. I transform that in, into my vocabular and uh, transform it into my own by bringing it into into color and form. What is this creative process? Have you come to understand what it is and what it means to you and why it happens? And why you follow it for a lifetime? Well, that's the biggest question you're asking, have, have been asking. Um, well, this is something I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I'm good with, and uh, is something that is uh, speaking to me, and uh, I'm talking back, and it's something that is. Uh, uh, it has this, 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 this moment of. Uh, of opening. Opening to you when you. Uh, in the pro process of, of creation, which is um, giving this high level of satisfaction, I would say. <laughs>